Hey, what's up, guys? I'm so happy that you guys are here because I know that the people that I care about, the people that I love are on the other side of this camera. So with that said, I want to give you guys the message of the week, or I guess it should be the reflection of the week. And that would be work-life balance or work-life integration. And I guess that's the, it's not a message, more like a question. So I'll tell you that I don't prescribe to the philosophy that dictates that you should have work and then life and then balance them. I like the philosophy that I think is more powerful, that's more empowering, which is the work-life integration, especially the higher that you go in the higher that uh, positions that you, that, that you attain, it's almost impossible to try and have balance because you're always on, you're always engaged. If you're an entrepreneur, you're always on, you're always engaged. There is in the balance. You're always working, you're always on. So when that happens, what you need to do or what I found, what I have found that works is actually the integration of work and life. And, you know, in order for you to kind of understand what I really mean by that, I want to kind of break down the philosophy. What is work and what is life and what is balance? So work, basically, the way that I understand it, the way that I interpret, that's being productive, some sort of productivity. And then life is fun you know it's like what you would want to be doing if money wasn't a, um, a factor then what would you be doing so that's actually what I prescribe to I'm very interested in what you guys prescribe to what you guys think is a, a better description of what you guys do I know that I'm very biased on the work-life balance integration instead of the balance but I'm also very interested to know what you guys think so please drop it in the comments and let me know what you guys think as far as what um, philosophy you believe in and what you guys interpret the work-life balance versus the work-life integration so continuing on my uh, on, my, uh, on my thought in the expression of my thought which is the work-life integration I'll give you guys some examples to kind of drive the point home I'm doing a YouTube video right now or I'm you doing a video in general so why am I doing a video what do I do with that well this is not my job I don't make money from making videos I just enjoy it and why do I do it and how does it impact in my work? How am I integrating work into this? Well, I'm a learning and development professional. I'm a training professional. I'm an EHS professional. I'm also a project manager. And all of these skills are actually very important in order for me to do what I'm doing right now. I need to plan my, my skits. I need to plan my videos. I need to find ways to try and get these out there. And it also helps me to um, discover or improve on another modality of learning which is one of the most trending. And um, actually, if you looked at some data, it's actually probably one of the, the um, fastest growing ways that people, not just young people, but people in general are learning things. It's a new modality. It's uh, either whether it's long form or short form. This is the way that people are learning. They either see something on TikTok, they watch a YouTube to be able to change their tires. This is a new modality. This is the future. So I want to be good at that. And this is part of it. I'm trying to get some something in there and I, and I have fun with it. So I'm integrating my fun. I have fun making these videos. I have fun connecting with people that I care about. I have fun sharing my thoughts and my, and my, my knowledge. And it helps me at work because it makes me a better speaker. It makes me a better or a more well-rounded um, learning professional. And that's the way I integrate that. Or maybe even doing a video like this while I'm stuck in traffic. Maybe doing a, um, a couple things that, that at work. I mean, just in selecting your job, selecting the type of work that you wanna do. If you are not needing happiness, at your job then you need to find your that should be a goal of yours find a job that you actually will net happiness and what that's another topic in itself but i'll try to briefly just dis, uh, discuss it what i mean by netting happiness is that i don't like everything every single aspect of work i love what i do but it's not something that i love every single aspect of it but uh, as a whole I am happier by working than not, than not. Everything that it provides me, not, and again, not just money, but the fulfillment, the sense of purpose, the sense of actually helping somebody learn something that's gonna keep them safe 
or it's gonna make them be a better person or it's gonna help them with their personal goals or just being an inspiration to people in general. When you reach new goals, you will inspire people that you don't even know. You will inspire people that are just waiting for someone to show them that it's possible. I have people that inspire me and I hope to one day inspire some. So with that said, I want to go ahead and share with you guys some of the things that I do while on the car. And that is to sing like a person, like a mad person. <laughs> sing like no one's watching and probably people thinking that I'm crazy, but it doesn't matter. But I want to share it with you guys, share a short little snippet of the craziness that I do in this car so I can integrate that. Hey, hey. Lo pongo a bailar la pelúa y el que no baile que lo despeluquen. Hijo de pe no me cuquen, lean los números pa' que se eduquen. Yo no hago canciones, hago himnos pa' que no caduquen. En este género yo fui un jaduque y se extinguieron como los dinosaurs antes que me apague se apague el sol subimos y rompimos el ascensor la prepa que le tiro el balbesor maldito conejo ahora lo miro de arriba y de lejos ey no contesto de no hablé con mi manejo pero él también va a pichar te juro que yo no me quise pichar ey me metí todo mi crush Yo soy un mili sin usar Richard Yankee se retira y vamos a escuchar Y yo voy a ser el jefe, se me van a escuchar Mi nombre por siempre se va a escuchar Porque estoy en mi pic Estoy en mi pic Soy un rey campeón Booker T Estoy en mi pic Estoy en mi pic Mírame lo que me convertí Le molesta mi premio de compositor, pero es que ya nadie compone, ninguna de esta gente escribe sus canciones o no se emocione. El disco más vendido de este año que llevé para la escuela, este mundo tratando de hacer las escuelas, sigue en la fila y nadie se me cuela. So, that's what I do for fun. Like a crazy person, I relax and I try to integrate it into my life. Okay, and that's what I call a good day. That's how I qualify a good day. A day that I have productivity and a day that I've had fun. And I have, if I haven't had those two, then I haven't had a good day. When I work, walk out of work or when I finish the day and I say, man, today was a good day, those two things have are, are a critical, crucial part of how I classify a good day. That's also another thing I want to know and I'm interested in what you guys and how you guys qualify a good day. In any case, I hope you guys really enjoyed this message. It's just me talking, you know, no planned topic, just kind of like a reflection on the way home and that I wanted to share with everybody. If you like this type of content, if you like some of the topics that I'm sharing as far as my um, weekly reflections, my daily reflections, please consider subscribing, click on the little bell so you won't miss any more videos or any videos and you can get them as soon as they drop. And I really appreciate everybody um, that comments and anybody that engages on my on my uh, on my videos because it helps me grow as a person as well. So thank you so much. Have a good day.